Good morning, happy Sabbath. All right. Now I'm going to be honest. The Lord must be amused at times over the way we observe Thanksgiving. We make gluns of ourselves. We change the symbol for the holiday from a living God to a dead turkey. We honor the food instead of him. We watch football and fight over what plays are being made and who's winning too often forgetting that God has provided us with all of our many blessings. Hey friends, it's Thanksgiving. We're to give thanks to and for Jesus, our one and only Savior. Can I hear an amen? amen? Did you know that in the Bible it mentions the word thanks 73 times, usually with the word give next to or close to it? How many times do we give thanks to God daily and what ways do we do it? All we have to do is open our Bibles and open our hearts. Our Bible tells us everything we need to know. Today I'll use my Bible to talk about David. David de depicted the perfect example of a man who served God, but not without sin. In David, we who all have sinned and come short of his glory can better see ourselves. He loved God, and when he made a mistake, he became aware of it. What did he do? He humbled himself before God and man in his desire to make it right, if it were possible. He was also thankful for the many things God gave to him. In Psalms, he writes to tell us how to be thankful. In Psalms 1-9, verse 30, Davis tells us to be thankful with your mouth, not just your mind. He says, I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth. Yes, I will praise him among the multitudes. Davis tells us to seek God and thirst for him. How many of you guys are thirsty for God? Amen. In Psalm 42, verse 2, David tells us, My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. In Psalm 22, verse 25, David tells us to thank and praise God in front of your brothers and sisters in the congregation and among many people, also known as worship. He also says to praise God next to all generations. In Psalm 79, verse 13, he says, Then we, your people, the sheep of your pasture, will praise you forever. From generation to generation, we will proclaim your praise. We are to fear God. We are to honor him. We are to glorify him. And we are to revere him. In Psalm 22, verse 33, he says, you who fear the Lord, praise him, all you descendants of Jacob. Honor him. Revere him, all you descendants of Israel. And lastly, but certainly not the least, he says to love and respect God's house. In Psalm 26, verse 8, he says, Lord, I love the house where you live, the place where your glory dwells. Now, after reading the psalmist's instruction, it would be wise to ask ourselves, do our lives truly express thankfulness to God? Or are we numbered among those who are living life with ingratitude, failing to act like we understand who God really is and what he's done? We need to thank God. And I'm not talking about once or twice here and there when things are good. I'm talking about thanking the Lord every single day, like David did, everything good. Thank you.